Hi, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. And this is my book review with spoiler of Sophie Lark's Brutal Prince. This is part of her series, but this is a standalone. It's a mafia, arranged marriage, enemies to lovers. Um, basically, I bought the Kindle and Audible of this to whisper sing. And honestly, I bought it and put it on my to be reading list because of TikTok hype and all that stuff. But after buying the whisper sing set of the Audible and the um, Kindle, I went to Goodreads and my heart nearly dropped because the rating is only three point something. I'm like, anyway, I already spent the money. So here we go. The review, let me emphasize there are spoilers, but I will try to minimize it. The main characters were Ada Gaggio, she is from Italian Mafia in Chicago, um, Callum Griffin is from Irish Mafia, so let me start by characters so I won't get confused in advance. Please excuse my he or she, I'm not a native English speaker, as you can tell by my accent. So Ada, she is like the fourth sibling from the Gaggio family, they are Italian, so they are Mafia for construction. She has three brothers, Sebastian. No, I can't tell you. But yeah, I'm going to tell you about Sebastian because she's part of the big story. And so, the Griffin family is from Irish mob. They are very, very rich. And since the beginning of time, these two Italian and Irish mafia were literally like in a long fight and they've been losing many families. So one night, and it actually started as this one of the griffin sibling has a birthday and obviously the gallum were not invited but they still went to the party made some chaos and ada went to the library started a fire and stole the watch of Callum's grandfather and so Callum saw it she got confronted by Callum and his right man i forgot his name and what they did is they, the right man of Callum actually um, tore the ACL of her brother Sebastian who is a famous athlete and was actually going pro. So as a like retaliation, she threw the clock or hand watch to the lake and Callum jumped and that's it. And so the fire plus the theft made their father get in and the accident of Sebastian's knee got their fathers involved. They went to a meeting and decided for them to get married. At first they hated each other, super hated. And they had no choice because both of their families were losing family members because of this long time fight. And so they decided to get married. I need to have an arranged marriage, but on the engagement night, she found out that Callum is allergic to strawberries. So on their wedding day, she ate a lot of strawberries. Um, he got allergic reactions, spent the entire night, excuse the plane, in the emergency room. And when she returned the following day, because she now lives in the Griffin house, Callum tried to drown her. And after that, they took a shower together. They made the spice, something happened. And then another, party happened and in that party they met her ex oliver and their common enemy which is from the polish uh, mafia which is the butcher and so on that time the ex of ida was ada was very jealous and tried to sa her Callum saved her and in the limousine and they made spice and on the bed they made spice again so everything was okay now however there were still um some rivalry between Callum and her three brothers no Sebastian is nice two brothers but one time because of the butcher um he burned the construction site of the gajo and they were pissed so they need to retaliate and while Colum, Colum, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm just gonna call him Griffin by his last name. Griffin helped Ada to go to the bar because the butcher has a mistress and Ada thought that she was friend with the waitress on that bar that she worked with, but they betrayed her. 
they put something on their drinks Ada didn't drink but Callum Griffin did he was they were captured and Griffin was actually tortured but Ada saved him they jumped on the river and then everything was okay however after that Ada went missing she was captured by her ex which is Oliver and Callum say Callum slash Griffin save him her sorry save her and after that they pick a new ring and the watch that she threw on the lake she asked a youtuber to get it and return it to her and they leave happily ever after the end the reason why the rating that i have for this is only three is because it wasn't that maybe because i'm so used to rena kent and tl smith's wheel mafia where they're like pew, 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 pew. but this one was just light like very very minimal it wasn't like a mafia mafia actually to me this is not enemies to love no this is the real enemies to lovers but this is not the mafia mafia like i was expecting it wasn't that really dark to me it's very minimal and i kind of well this is now my dislike my dislike is her she at the beginning the first part she was very brat immature and i needed the end of it because she knew she stole the watch but still pretend that she didn't which in the end harm her brother sebastian and now sebastian is mopping he couldn't go to pro because of his torn acl and so on and so forth and it was actually her who started the chaos because although the griffin family and the gaji family were mortal enemies they have this professional relationship because now they have a common enemy which is the polish mafia but she went to the party and started chaos and her father was right that she started the chaos she punished by the arranged marriage also yes that tiktoker saying like this is the real enemy still lovers because she tried to harm him with his allergies and strawberry and while she drowned him. but that was it that was it it wasn't like the other book that I read that they, you know how Elsa and Aiden, Levi and Astrid, those were like really like cruel. But this one was like, I think this was overhyped by TikTok, which is, I got, I'm so gullible with TikTok book talk or with book talk. But yeah, the spice is good. That's why I gave her four because they do it in the shower in the bed in the limousine it was very very nice do i recommend this book if you're into dark romance and mafia no but if you just want to start reading dark romance and a little bit mafia this is mild you can read it overall the first part i didn't enjoy it that much like i said i nearly didn't have it that's why it's three story three star story and the spice is four chilies like this spice thank you very much for the like please do subscribe thank you bye bye